Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the channel. I am your host, Ethan Drew, and today we are going to be reacting to and breaking down voice plays performance of The Way You Make Me Feel by Michael Jackson. Um, I, I really love this song. Like, it is like in my top 10 80s songs for sure. And Michael Jackson was an absolute legend of the music industry. And I am super excited to see what voice play does with this for you and for me as well today. So for those that don't know who I am, I'm Ethan Drew. I break down music. I, uh, yeah, I, I, I do more than just break down music. I break it down in a way that you can understand from a mu musician and singer standpoint. I also host podcasts with singers and I do a little bit of music on my own from time to time. Those are the pr three primary things that I do on this channel. Once in a blue moon, I'll do something a little bit different, like maybe I'll do a video talking about something going on in the music industry, or maybe I'll do some smaller versions of podcasts where it'll be just me. And, you know, I do all kinds of music stuff, but my three main things that I do I do podcasts with singers, I break down music in the form of a reaction and analysis video. And then I do a little bit of music content on my own. Um, I tend to gravitate towards acapella music, but I do like to branch out once in a while. So if you don't like acapella music or if you don't like reaction and analysis videos, you might want to check out some of my other content like my podcast instead. So if you guys are enjoying the content, if you're still here, I appreciate you. Make sure you like this video. Drop a comment down below. Even if it's just a smiley face, it helps this video with the algorithm. And if you are enjoying the content to the point of wanting to contribute to my future here on YouTube, I have a Patreon link in the description where you can support me if you choose to financially. And if you do that, it comes with some really cool perks such as direct interaction with me, some written handwritten thank you letters, your name at the end of the videos, an audio shout out at the end of my videos, stuff like that. So if that interests you, the link is in the description. And make sure you subscribe with the notifications turned on so you never miss another upload. With that said, we will dive into what voice play has for us today. And I will move this mic here. It Ignore the noise, guys, and we will get started. And if you guys hear a cat in the background, please forgive me. I have recently moved my wife's cat in from the uh, her staying at her parents' house. That was from the wedding, and we were just making sure that we were 110% prepared for her to be here. So we had just brought her in. So you guys may hear her in the background. So please forgive me if you do. Um, anyways, a little bit of a tangent there, but we're going to get promptly started here. And like I said, make sure you like this video, comment down below. Let me know if there's any trinkets in the music, so to speak, that you really liked or things like that. Or let me know about something in the music that you really liked that you're not sure that everyone else noticed. And also feel free to call out anything that I might not notice. Hey, pretty baby with the high heels on You give me fever like I've never, ever known You're just a product of loveliness I like the groove Okay, so there's some really cool, simple things going on here. Um, I like the very simple approach to starting the song. You can't always start every single piece of music or cover that you do with a super emphatic um super emphatic entrance and i like what they're doing here they're starting off small and it gives them somewhere to build with the music and volume hey pretty baby with the high mm -hmm. heels on mm -hmm. in the key of d it sounds like you give me fever like i'm never ever known you're just a product of dum, dum, dum. That's a really that's a B flat in there. This might not be the key of D. I'll have to listen a little bit more, guys. But very nice. Very nice entrance to this. DJ's got a nice hushed tone. So like I said, get given more of something more of the somewhere for the music to go. 
Pardon me. I like the groove of your walk, your talk, your dress. I feel your fever from miles around. Ooh, some nice harmonies here. Hello. I feel your fever from miles around. I love these nice harmonies in the background. I love the open do vowel for this. It's it's not super open like ah, it's more of a ooh, do, do. That's a really good choice here. For me, the way you make me feel. You really ooh, that was, a, oh, I love that echo of the, of the rest of the guys in the background. So DJ is carrying the lead of the song here, but I really love the choice of doing an echo there and some of you with a keen ear will note that there is not any percussion in the background no drums no beatboxing so far and it's a nice little twist good way to make it their own cover way you make me feel you really turn And this is not much of a departure from the original, the the echoing part, because MJ echoes him is himself whenever he leads his part in the original. It'll be the way you make me feel, the way you make me feel. In the original, that's how it goes. And then and they're doing that here too, but it's more of a choir like feel because you've got a bass berry tenor part in the background there. It's like a three to four part harmony and it's it's that's not in the original, obviously. So a nice touch. Me off of my feet now, me me off of my feet. My lonely days are gone. My lonely days are gone. Nice. I like the feeling you're giving me. Key of C, I think, actually. Yeah, just hold me, baby, and I'm in ecstasy. From nine to five. Nine to five. That's not in the original. That's a really nice touch. I'm pretty sold that this is a Jeff arrangement. Always, almost always starting off the percussion with the snaps Love me forever more. I swear I'm keeping you cuz you're the one for cuz you're the one for me. Ooh, that's a nice little twist cuz you're the one for me there's no it's not usually a cuz you're the one for cuz you're the one for me that little echo right there with the missing the me in that part that's not that's not a, in the original either and it's a again another nice touch and it works sometimes you can't do that kind of echo missing a word you can't always do that in another cover depending on the way you're doing the percussion and the way you're laying out the time signature but it works pretty well here the way you make me feel really i like that nice descending little riff there Ooh, syncope here. Syncopation. Da, uh, uh. Listen to this. Ha, ha. Right there. That right there. It's subtle, and if you weren't listening for it, you'd probably miss it. This is just so accurate. It's... They are so punctual, purposeful, and accurate with these riffs and the syncopation. And what I mean by syncopation is on the offbeat, so you say you have a measure of four, four counts in a measure. So one, two, three, four. And what we say on the offbeat is, is exactly what it sounds like. So if it's a measure of one, two, three, four, it would be in between one and two. 
or in between two and three, and, or in between three and four, and so on and so forth. So what we call that in music, whenever we're doing a measure like that, it's one and two and three and four and. And in this, what musicians would say is, those are on the and. They're on the and. And it, it's a really, really, really cool way to add some flair to music. And it happens basically any song you could possibly think of. There's some sort of syncopation or a note on an offbeat somewhere. Whether if it's percussion, whether if it's on the guitar, in the voice, etc. And it's it just adds flair to music. And especially if it's if it's done too much, it could be misconstrued for being too complicated. But if you ask me, adding off beats and doing syncopation in music, it's just when it's done right awesome up to tender high c for ellie here in uh mixed head chest voice it sounds like Ooh, hold on there was a g1 from jeff here uh right there <laughs> Come on, Jeff. Ooh, DJ. That's got some soul in it right there. Got to hear some of that pitch bending. Listen to this. Love that. Come on, Jeff. Give it, give it. Ooh, more offbeats. More offbeat stuff. Give and give and give. Oh, it's got a little bit of a jazz feel to it. Mm, I love this section. I, th I thought he was going to go l real low right right there. Let's listen to this. I thought he was going to go down to an F1. He could still. We don't know. But that would have been a perfect place to do it. love these harmonies, man. It's crazy. Ooh, that was a nice bass slide. Hello. Love that bass growl slide. That was mint, man. That was mint. And the EQ on that is mint, too, because you don't have this really airy sound to it. Like... Like, that was really, really nice. Bit of a cymbal buildup in the percussion beatboxing here. Awesome. Let's listen to that again. Yeah. Ooh, another bass grass slide. That is so cool. <laughs> Sorry, guys, I'm fanboying. That's just so much control in that grass slide. Another bass slide. That's awesome. Um, also, I wanted to just briefly mention DJ Young is one of my favorite um, tenor singers. Like, 
he's got so much control up there, so much purpose and power in that upper range, especially in like the fourth octave, top of the fourth octave. He's just, this is a piece of cake and walking the park for him. And I love to hear a tender doing their work. Nobody be That's a nice touch to add in from the originals. Ain't nobody business but mine. I love that. I love that. It's it's on the offbeat. And I'm telling y'all, that's another one of those things where if you sprinkle it in there, it gives it so much flair. It's awesome. Girl, And those are actually triplet notes in, um, those are three notes in a four count measure. And it sounds confusing, but you kind of have to listen to it to understand how it truly works. It's interesting. Um, but as far as, I won't get too scientific with that and explain it too much. But what I will say is triplets, they're also on offbeats part of the time. And it's got this really funky soul like feel to it and that's why triplet notes are such awesome additions to music in my opinion <laughs> i was hoping that somebody would do it in this song and i'm so glad that dj did that for those that don't know michael jackson he had this trademark i i'm not gonna try to do it and blow your eardrums out but um I will throw the audio of MJ doing it somewhere in here, like right now. <laughs> yeah, that right there is Michael Jackson doing his signature sound whenever he does music, because you hear that all the time in his music. I just punched the mic, my bad. Uh, back to the music, but... <laughs> Oh, that's just a just so much raw talent in one image. Like this is crazy. Ugh. A big shout out to all of the patrons of Voice Play. Otherwise, this wouldn't be possible. There's just so much raw talent in that. It's incredible. And it's such an intricate piece, especially if you consider the amount of harmonies or harmonic parts in here that are built in that I just wish I could stop and talk about. There's just so many to talk about that we'd be here all day long breaking them down and talking about them. <laughs> it's just... This is the life. Just being a musician, being a singer, watching other musicians and singers do their thing. And it's awesome to build up other musicians and show them off and to react to them and show what's going on in the music. Explain it to you guys for those that might not fully understand it or understand why the music is so complicated or what makes it so good and what makes it so what makes these people so skillful i just i love this ah, man i just i love i love doing what i do and i really really do podcasts making my own music breaking music down for you guys I just have a passion for music in general and helping people understand music better and love music as much as I do. <sighs> that was a sappy moment, but hey, it is what it is, I guess. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you're here at the end of the video, thank you for watching all the way through. You are a rare breed and an amazing person for doing so. Guys, this is Ethan Drew. I love you. Take care of yourselves, and I will see you in the next video. Bye.
Ladies and gentlemen, thank you for tuning in today. This video was made possible by wonderful patrons like Miss Nancy Flesher. If you're interested in getting audio shoutouts or video shoutouts at the end of my videos, make sure you hit the link in my description to go to Patreon where you have that ability. Thank you so much for watching again. I love you. Take care of yourselves and we'll see you soon.